come with me to check out the high country in Victoria. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we are about to enter one of my favorite regions in Victoria, which is the Alpine region or the high country. And the first stop, we're gonna check out Dargo, which I actually haven't been before. And it's super well known for the pub. So it would be rude not to have lunch there. And then yeah, we'll keep on driving and head towards Mount Buffalo. But yeah, it's just so nice up here. There's just rolling blue hills and it's a beautiful day. It's over 30 degrees today, which is lovely. So we'll jump back in the car and we'll head to Dargo. I also made sure I chucked a spare on for this trip because remember I didn't have one from that time I popped it. So that's now sorted and I got a wheel bag from Boss Aluminium too. So I can put some dirty recovery straps, some rubbish and yeah, anything that I want on the back. Dargo is actually Victoria's most remote town, set at the base of the Dargo High Plains. It's 348 kilometres east of Melbourne and the area has a population of around 100 people. This pub was built back in 1898, so it's been open a very long time and it's open seven days a week. So I did just leave the pub, I got a CC of course and a burger and now we're going to head into Mount Buffalo which is home to my favourite lookout in the entire world. It's called the Horn and at the very top you get a 360 degree view of the Victorian high country. Hopefully we'll make it there for sunset and then I've got a spot in mind to camp at just on a lake. So yeah we'll jump in and we'll get going. I also did get myself a fishing rod, so I definitely haven't gone fishing many times. I've gone a couple of times out on the water on a boat and I did really enjoy it. And I just thought there's been a few moments where I'm at a campground with no service and yeah, I'd sort of want to do something and fishing is a good way to pass some time. And I do usually camp by rivers and lakes. So yeah, I thought that I would get one and just give it a go. I just got a cheap one just to see if I like it. So there's a lot of rivers around here. So we might even try and use that at some point in this video as well. For this trip, I made sure I packed some extra stuff. So my rattle gun for changing the tires, jumper leads, and then around the back, I put my recovery stuff. But if I'm going in any deep water, I obviously won't have it in the back just in case that was underwater as well. And then I've got a canvas mat for flooring while I camp too. And then around here, I do have my compressor and tire deflator. A four-wheel drive is definitely recommended on this road as it does turn to gravel and in the wet this would be quite slippery as well. Throughout winter this road is actually impassable as it's completely covered in snow so keep in mind you won't be able to access this road from July through to October. 
So I have pulled into camp, but I just had a little walk because of like a cottage and stuff around and I can't actually set up camp just yet because it's still a little bit of a drive to get to the lookout at the top. So it's probably about 10 more Ks. I will just pop something a little bit warmer on, probably some trackies and a jumper because I'm guessing it's going to be pretty cold up there and I'll quickly have something to eat. I'm probably just going to have some muesli because I cannot be bothered cooking. And my rule is always to get back to camp before it gets dark, but that is actually not going to happen tonight, but I will let it slide because I've been here before. <laughs> This has always been my absolute favourite spot to come to. I could honestly sit up here for hours. It's only about 50 minutes away from a beautiful small town called Bright. And once you get to the top car park, you've got about a 10 minute walk further up and then you get these 360 degree views of the Victorian Alps. Morning guys, so I did pack up camp, I had a coffee and I had a shower too. So at a lot of campgrounds there's no showers, you're lucky to even get a toilet sometimes, usually there's just a drop toilet. But yeah, this one had a big block of amenities which was lovely. And now I've just come down to have a look at the lake, I don't think I'm going to be able to fish just because there's heaps of weeds right on the bank and yeah, I don't have a boat or a canoe to get out even further. But yeah, the lake's pretty big, I'll get the drone up and we'll have a look what it looks like from the top. I have just started making my way down Mount Buffalo, so I thought it'd be rude not to check out one more spot, so I've just pulled up at a waterfall. It's only about 700 metres to the end, so I'll go and check it out.
This first waterfall is called Ladies Bath Falls and a lot of people do come to this one to swim and then the second waterfall is called Euroban Falls and it sits at a whopping 42 metres high. I'm back at my car and that now wraps up this episode. So I hope you guys absolutely loved this part of Victoria or Australia as much as I did. The high country is just absolutely stunning. So if you can get out here, definitely do it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.